What's up, people? Back with another video. Ah. Phil Heath threatens to sue Nick's power and strength, or Nick's strength and power. Uh, which one, I don't know, but honestly, I'm a big fan of his page. Well, his content, I'm subscribed to him, and I was a big fan of Phil Heath. How can you not be? Genetic freak. He's the gift. Okay, besides all that, my thoughts on it. Now, obviously, no one wants to be known as a thief. Um, that's the lowest thing you can be outside of being a child molester. Um, nobody trusts a thief. A thief doesn't get any respect. So, the anger and frustration behind somebody posting up content like that Yes, I can understand why you would be upset. Yes, I can understand why you want to sue. But I'm not in the same position as you. Um, in my opinion, from the way that it was said on Nick's Power and Strength, the way he said it was, well, basically it sounded, you know, real petty, real childish. And it seems like he's out of touch with reality because obviously, just like with any other celebrity, you know, yeah, you get the perks, but a lot of things come with that. And it's not fair. No, it's not fair. Should anybody put all your business out there? Especially if it's not valid or proven. Yeah, I, I have I have an issue with that also. But when a person gives you the opportunity to speak on the issue and tries to fix the issue, you should probably give them an opportunity to do it. Because realistically honestly each and every one of us has sat back and listened to uh, well listen to people speak on or speak negatively about um a famous person's life um because it draws a lot of attention but nick's power and strength shouldn't be the person or the or the person or the um guy that gets you know, the complete, complete backlash from you. Um, now, what I didn't like was the fact that Nick put a lot of other people's name in it, whereas it didn't have anything to do with them. You know, if he doesn't have an issue with them, that's one thing. You have no, no, no right. I don't want to say right. You shouldn't feel that just because he, they didn't get caught with it and you did that you should run and, tell, run and tell everybody else. Because to be completely honest with you, these people gave you that comment, basically. I mean, gave you the, the content, basically. Um, so instead of throwing their names in the mud, which I don't believe you did intentionally, you should uh, left their names out of it. Because now once you put somebody else's name in it, now this person may feel obligated to, to um, go after them the same way that he's going after you. So... Their name should have been left out of it. But dealing with it in a respectful adult manner. If a person offers you the opportunity without having any legal actions taking place, legal actions should be the last resort if the issue can be fixed. And it could have been fixed. But he didn't want to fix it. You're too caught up in your emotions. Um, this is my humble opinion. I tru truly believe that Phil Heath is one of the, if arguably the best, Mr. Olympia winner. But things like this come off as arrogant to people. And we all know that bodybuilding is a sport where politics are heavily involved. If the bodybuilding community, if it was already a high number that frowned upon you because of the way you carry yourself, because you felt like it was arrogant, what do you think is going to happen now? Whereas we can see that your emotions are weak. So people, anybody know how to come at you now because you don't know how to just sit back and let things roll off of you. You're a big fish. Why would you let something small or something coming from a smaller person dictate your response? Um, but I do agree with when, when somebody throws the first blow, you have no right to try to control what their reaction is going to be. Because whenever you make a move, it's a good chance that it may backfire on you, so you shouldn't be surprised. Now, and that was some truly 
damaging information that came out because it made him seem like he was dirty, sleazy, and broke. They have to steal a bracelet. Um, so you got to be careful with the type of content that you that you put out. And obviously, I'm no in no position to tell this man what type of content he should put out. Again, I'm going to state it. I'm a fan of his page, fan of all his content. I watch it almost on a daily basis. Um, but just because you are a fan of a person doesn't have doesn't mean you have to necessarily agree or believe everything that they're doing. Um, I personally wouldn't want to touch on a subject like that that can draw more attention to the law. Um, even though it's no jail time, you know, jail time isn't a part of the equation, but why would you want to let everybody know about a situation that's being worked on behind closed doors? Because it's not for us to know about. And yes, and yes, obviously, legally, you can do what you can put out content like that because it's all opinionated and you make sure you say allegedly before any solid statement. But that doesn't fix, fix the fact that now everybody's going to frown upon you because the lie is more juicy than the truth. And the first time you heard that, you hear it a lot. A lot of people lie because the lie is more interesting. And when the truth finally comes out, guess what? The lie that was posted up, it doesn't go away. So if a person found out that he actually didn't steal it, he still looked at it as a thief. Because most of us have an issue with people that's on the top. You know, most of us want to be able to do what people on the top do. Most of us wish we had the genetics as Phil Heath. Most of us don't. It's a mass, mass majority of us that don't and never will. So it kind of comes off, I, in his mind, I guess it comes off as somewhat kind of hating. And I can understand that, but my biggest issue is the response. You the bigger fish. You probably should have let your lawyer send all the emails and stuff because you really sound like an emotional child with all due respect. But... If everybody else don't have the opportunity to be able to duck and dodge certain accusations and we have to walk it through, then you should have to do the same thing also. But when you react with with frustration and anger in words that you know can be used against you or crush your character, why would you give certain situations um, light? Because you did draw more attention to Nick's power and strength content. Um, I respect the anger that he has, the frustration that he has. But at the end of the day, when certain things come up, we got to deal with it as adults, especially men. So it could have been a better way that he handled it or addressed it. It came off as petty. Um, but I think both sides kind of played a part, and it was negative on both ends because let's not be surprised when you get a negative backlash even if you're just reporting on something that somebody else reported on. Because now you done got yourself involved and it could have been avoided. I'm out.